Welcome to another episode of Truly Disturbing. This time we look at victims who escaped serial killers. In 1968, a witness called police after he observed Rodney Alcala luring eight-year-old girl Tali Shapiro into his apartment in West Hollywood. Tali was later found raped, beaten and left for dead. She will be the first known victim of serial killer Rodney Alcala. The man is suspected of killing up to 130 victims during the 1970s. He is currently sitting on death row in San Quentin. Gary Ridgway eluded capture for several decades, known only as the Green River Killer. He was finally caught in 2003 after advances in DNA were able to match a piece of gum left at a scene to the killer. However, for one victim, knowing the man who had attacked and raped her was still free was terrifying. Ridgway had picked up Rebecca Giard in November 1984. After trying to choke her, she managed to escape his grip. Ridgway admitted to the attack but claimed that he had attacked her in self-defence. Jeffrey Dahmer's last potential victim brought the killer down. Having already killed 17 victims, Dahmer picked up Tracy Edwards on July 22, 1991 and took him back to his apartment where he planned on murdering the young man. Edwards spent hours in the man's horrifically smelling apartment before making an excuse to use the bathroom. He then punched Dahmer in the face and ran from the apartment. Serial killer and rapist Bobby Jo Long had murdered at least 10 victims before he abducted Lisa McBee in November 1984. He raped her repeatedly for several hours before leaving his victim tethered so he could go to a cinema. He was arrested soon after and confessed to the murders and abductions. He is now on death row in Florida. Carol Duranche was approached by a man on November 7, 1974. Under the guise of being a police officer, Ted Bundy tried to get her into his car, claiming she needed to make a statement as her car had been broken into. Bundy got her into his car, then handcuffed her, but she was able to escape. During the horrific Chiamega sorority house slaughter, Kathy Kleiner and Karen Chandler were left with horrific injuries after being beaten and assaulted by Bundy. They did survive the attack while two of their roommates were murdered. Another woman, Cheryl Thomas, who lived nearby, was also attacked by Bundy and survived. Known only by pseudonym, 17-year-old victim A escaped the sadistic couple David and Catherine Burney. The couple had murdered at least four young women, often holding them for days, during which time they were repeatedly raped. Victim A escaped when the couple left the house. Running semi-naked into the street, she was able to get help at a local store. The killer couple was sent to prison, never to be released. Paul Onions was the victim who got away from serial killer Ivan Milat. The backpacker accepted a lift from Milat in January 1990. He escaped when the killer stopped the car so he could tie up his victim. Ivan Milat is sentenced to life imprisonment for the murders of seven tourists. <laughs>